Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac, Repentance, where today I'm going to finish up greed mode, is what I've decided. Uh, very well decided. I put a lot of thought into this one. We're playing as Eve, so we're gonna have to have our health be low. Might as well do that by just running in here. Uh, could grab that bomb, actually. Really not having much luck to get our health low from the get-go, given all the things that are here currently. Also, we do start with the razor blade, so it is actually tempting to just use that twice rather than getting one bomb. But maybe... I was gonna say, maybe that'll have flight in it. Technically possible, I think. Would have been nice. Either way, I'm just gonna use that now. We have a dead bird at our disposal. We're dealing a little bit of extra damage. If I use the razor one more time, I will be at one red heart and therefore activate Curse of uh, the Horror Babylon effect and therefore deal even more damage, have higher speed as well, but we are in a uh, not burning basement this time around, so it is a little less likely that I'm going to die. I suppose this probably is two greed mode episodes in a row, but it is being recorded on separate days, so for me, it's technically two entirely different sessions and that makes it fair to everyone and I hope everyone can forgive me for my choices because I genuinely just want to get this done it's one like this and cathedral are really the two things that I see as a genuine obstacle before continuing with the rest of the game so it would just be really nice to get these things out of the way getting a wow I was gonna say getting decent waves and then immediately took a decent hit there which isn't great. I don't really want to leave the room either to get more health after this uh, because I do have the active um, razor right now so I will lose damage if I leave the room currently. Uh, there aren't going to be any more waves except for the boss wave so that is kind of nice at least uh, because it does mean that I can just carefully kill these remaining enemies in peace without being bothered too much hopefully. But there are a lot of enemy summoning creatures here which doesn't make life a lot easier, unfortunately. Also, I don't want to lose my dead bird, I guess, but that's ultimately kind of a side thing in the grand scheme of things. This appears to be pin, I would say, uh, seeing as I couldn't see anyone, which is a pretty good indication that it's probably going to be pin. And also, I, I got my first vaccine today, so if I die, I'm also going to blame it on that. The uh, very mild pain in my left arm is definitely going to be the cause of Whatever death may come. That is a dime and a nickel inside of a pot that just got exploded by Pin here, so I'm pretty grateful about that. Because that's 15 extra coins in greed mode. I'm tempted to, like, get a soul heart now, but I probably shouldn't. But if the devil deals really good, then it is kind of worthwhile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy one of these. I'm going to buy one of these. I'm gonna wanna buy one of these. And then hope that it's not gonna be a soul heart in here. Alright, Jacob's Ladder, that's very strong. And I can just use my razor again when we go over here to get that dead bird and horror Babylon back. It did cost a couple of coins, of course, but ultimately I would say that it was kind of worthwhile. Now seeing what kind of enemies we're dealing with, maybe not. <laughs> but eh, that's not really well. Yara's good. Awas is not terrible if it's a staircase. It unfortunately is just a hole, but you know. Acceptable nonetheless. I don't know if there was anything else in here. There is the eternal heart, which I'll take. But don't really care about Jar of Flies. Mom's Pearl is fine, but I think I'll just take this and leave, really. This is a pretty damn acceptable start to a greed mode run. I'm pretty happy about it. Getting Yera right there is just pretty great in general. It does make life a little bit more manageable in the end. We get that red heart from the eternal heart. We get supper as well, which is going to heal me up. So pretty much just going to stick to using the, uh, the thing there. Using the razor blade and destroying everything. Blood clot, good. We do need to get blood clot like 10 times or something to unlock something. So the more times we can get it, the better. I don't even really remember what the unlock for that is. But it is, uh, it might just be an, a boss. Like Lil Chub or something might start spawning in the basement or wherever Lil Chub spawns. 
I think that's basically what it is. So it's worth right now to not re-roll Blood Clot whenever I see it. I didn't actually use a Razor Blade, I just realized. I realized after a poop didn't die in one hit, and that is a... Well, that's just unfortunate when that's the case, so I'd rather spend a little bit of health on that. Just to make life a little bit easier. Not sure when I'm going to use this Yara just yet, but... There will probably be plenty of opportunities. Since I've already picked up a couple coins here, I will just not do it on this floor just yet, but perhaps on the next one. If there's going to be an item on sale, then that's definitely going to be the floor where it's going to be worth using it on, I would say. Kind of want to get rid of that before starting the next wave, but occasionally you cannot get what you want. So just going to have to make do with what we have. I also don't really know who I want to do greed mode last with, I suppose. We've done many characters now. It would have kind of been good to unlock maybe like one more tainted character before doing this, I realize now, but I'm not too bothered. Either way, things will probably work out just fine, so hopefully it'll be okay. I could just use Magdalene, actually, because the, the Yum Heart is pretty good in this mode. I uh, don't really care about any of this. I could real quickly, actually use this in the curse room. Get Guppy's tail. Not really gonna be that effective unfortunately in the uh, <laughs> in this floor right here, but perhaps we can get a full Guppy transformation. You never know. We do have two bombs, so I will actually just blow up all these pots to get that last heart as well. And a secret room. Which is lucky. For a bunch of garbage. Less lucky I suppose, but still not. Technically the worst, probably. But let's kill a couple of bosses. Let's just use that Razor Blade one more time. And I do like the Horror Babylon effect, but my health is a little bit too low to risk that right now. Admittedly, the cave isn't the most difficult thing in the world in terms of greed mode floors. Um, but, you know. I, I'd still like to play it at least a little bit safe. I've been scarred <laughs> by my previous attempts to try and bedazzle everyone by playing greed mode and then just getting destroyed, so we're just gonna play it a little bit safe. Eventually we'll get that Horror Babylon effect anyway if we just take enough damage from regular attacks. We won't get the extra damage from the Razor Blade, of course, but we'll just have to make Dewey what we have. This, uh, once again, this particular room layout doesn't make this boss super scary, but you do still need to have some eye on the eyes that are moving around here. But fortunately, only about half the amount you usually do because it takes a while for them to actually reach you once they go all the way back up again, so that is lovely. I find peep acceptable in this setting. And I hopefully will get through this just fine. And look at that. Here we are. One more boss to go. Is it pin again? Or is it... It's two pins! The game has been changed indeed. <laughs> Uh, it's still not too scary, fortunately. Oh, we got a mushroom trinket if we so desire. That's actually not too bad in green mode, I suppose. Because you can't just walk back and forth until you get the right effect that you would like and then uh, just start the waves, so... I might actually take that. We got an angel room with, once again, the candle. Stigmata is not great. Uh, the soul heart's pretty exciting. I don't know if this counts self-damage, and I'm a little curious about it. I would assume it probably doesn't, but the extra tier rate ain't bad, so I will just go with that and just leave the floor as well. As there just simply isn't that much else to do here. The items aren't that exciting and nothing is on sale. So let's see what the depths hold today. It is the dank depths. Which is probably slightly more difficult than usual. These flies aren't going to do anything. Which is nice. This is going to give me a trinket as well. Which is that. Technically not terrible in greed mode. But also not like mind blowing or anything. That is growth hormones on sale. That is an orbital on sale. That's speed up on sale. That's tier 8 on sale. That's just many things. And that's all my money gone, surprisingly enough. I mean, I did take a couple of things there, I suppose, but... Yeah. That's pretty good as well, isn't it? Let's see, speed down. What kind of effect can we get if I just keep doing this? 
Occasionally I see my damage go up, which is kind of nice. This is not too bad. It's a tear rate up at least. That didn't make the candle go out, so that's good as well. So I can use this without losing the effect of the candle. And I would say that this is going to make for a rather high tier rate Jacob's Ladder build this way, so very much appreciative of that. I might use the Yera rune in this floor simply because we do have an item on sale and it could end up being pretty good that way. Lost a lot of tier rate by getting hit by that brimstone there, unfortunately, but we'll survive, I'm sure. Let's just wait for these to come back as well, because why hurry? But yeah, high tier rate with Jacob's Ladder is, is a build, really. It's, it's more or less effective enough on its own when you have this much electricity going on. Makes your damage a little bit less necessary to be super high or anything, so that's pretty nice. Especially on these floors, I suppose. As we progress through the game, it might become a little bit less powerful, but... Definitely not disappointed by what we got right now. And overall, just very, very pleasing. And there's Monstro 2. I'm gonna use Yara right now, because uh, I think that's all the coins we're gonna get. Technically, we might have been able to get something else with... Uh, we got like a piggy bank on sale or something, but the other that aren't amazing. Piggy bank would be pretty incredible with this though. So let's hope. It's it's pretty unlikely. I don't know if it's like a lower chance in green mode or anything either, but it's uh it would just be nice to have, wouldn't it? Let's just take all of this. And then press the button to finish off this last wave. For four of these, and they're all rolling around. What fun. That went about as good as you could have imagined. <laughs> Probably could have avoided that if I paid attention to more than one of them, but you know. It can be rather tricky to really start paying attention to four of these at the same time. So I will settle with just one instead. If I just focus this one down, then it's just a regular boss fight. And my tier 8 is still pretty good, even though my candle has gone out. So, all in all, this build will most likely stay fairly acceptable. Which is ideal. Now, let's see what the Angel Room has. It is once again the Immaculate Heart, because everything in my life is great. And there is the Monstrance. Okay, two circular auras that damage enemies. Uh, I mean, this is really, really strong, but I haven't really had this one yet, and that really actually makes me a lot more tempted to try and get it. Did that actually make my damage go up? I think it actually did. So fair enough. Tier 8. Speed. Uh, range up is not too bad either. I mean, my tier 8 is pretty much maxed at this point, so I don't know if I really need to buy more. But it is on sale. Let's just get one. Yeah, that basically just gave me shot speed. That gave me damage, which is wonderful. That's a luck up. We have a soul heart as well. Uh, sure. And I think I'll leave with this. This uh, is a pretty acceptable build the way it is right now. Wouldn't mind a little bit more damage, but I can get a lot of extra damage by just hurting myself. Which, uh... Might not be the most ideal strategy. We got two keys from buying that lucky key as well. That's going to be more... We're not going to get more speed. We've already gotten all the speed in the world. Ouija board doesn't really do anything in this mode. For the most part, at least. That is pretty good. That's the infinity, which is also pretty good. Tempted to just take this card to Ultra Greed, actually. Because we might be able to get a little bit more money that way. I'm just going to skip on the rest for now. And just see what we can do here. Hopefully we can uh, get to 99 coins once again if I just stop buying things at this point. I think you get roughly 30 coins per floor, so... That would more or less work out. I don't really need more things outside of maybe health. If I take hits like that. But overall, this... Still is adequate. It, it has a really long range and decent tier rates, and that's really all you need for the ultra greed fight in the end. Ooh, you're fast. <laughs> Not sure if I love this aura, if it's really doing that much, but 
it was either that or take a really strong item, you know, so, I mean, the choice was very easily made. I, I genuinely feel like I didn't truly have a choice in the matter. And there's some enemies underground, yep. It's nice that they briefly popped into the screen to show that they did, in fact, exist. That enemy is still alive. <laughs> he, got, he got stuck behind rocks and the game was like, you know what? You're not gonna reach that one, let's just open the doors again. I, I hadn't actually seen that before, so that's kind of cool. Didn't know that was a thing. Genuinely didn't. I can get pretty good tier rate, provided I don't take damage with the candle, but... I keep finding a way. So I need to just play this a little bit more careful. And Mr. Fred, which... I uh, immediately did this, which is going to take a minute here. But now that we'll just have to do. If we can get the poop trinket somewhere, that would be amazing. But I haven't seen a trinket on sale yet, I don't think. Oh, but I just ran away from that explosion and right into Mr. Fred. I just didn't know he was there, you know? <laughs> There's no way to know. Could probably just stand over here, actually. Yeah, this is pretty effective. Against Mr. Fred, item's pretty good. That's a very good piece of information right there. <laughs> Just do that. And do that. Who ever thought that two bloats is an acceptable idea? And quite frankly, it's not. <laughs> it's not a, not at all cool. And I do not appreciate it. There was a lot of actually decent explosion hits from from bloat there as well, which. It's genuinely quite unfortunate. But that's the way it is sometimes. Another angel room and a holy mantle, which isn't that good, but... Uh, seven... God, I'm actually more tempted by seven seals and holy mantle right now. This is free curse rooms though, so that's kind of cool. Who knows what goodness await us here, like explosive diarrhea. And look up. Bad trip. So much for free rooms. Um, just gonna blow this up, actually. Right there. And definitely a little tempted by the D Infinity as well, but I just don't think it's worth the money. Uh, this heals one red heart though, and that's not bad. I'll just take that actually. Ah, uh, nah. For once, nah. Don't feel like it. I kind of like my health to be as high as possible, and that was really the main reason why I bought that item anyway. So I'd rather not bother with that. That is Shrink Shot. Getting pretty close to the Fun Guy transformation, which I think is one more Red Heart or something like that. So that would be nice. Wow, I definitely didn't mean, shouldn't have left that room. I thought that I just suddenly got a big damage up from. Uh, uh, the item, but it was from my trinket, actually. That does occasionally give me a damage up, and I'm not really sure why it would give me such a big damage up, but not a damage down. I guess it could maybe give the magic mushroom effect. Is that a thing this trinket does now? Because that would add up. It's just a bit unusual. I will take that one red heart right there, even though I just saw that. Uh, that was a red heart on sale. This will do. Use that once. I might use it a couple times during the Ultra Grade fight, actually. If I can get a couple Soul Hearts, then that's probably fine. Shrink Shot. Occasionally showing up and shrinking the enemies. You can then step on them to destroy them. But with the enemies we're fighting right now, that's not really worthwhile. If I step on an enemy and a bomb spawns out of them, it's just not really great, you know? I'd rather not bother. If we can get one of these bombs to actually blow up the blue flame and get a Soul Heart from that, that would be pretty ideal. And that's some damage right there. We did um, get some use out of our Holy Mantle again, so I can appreciate that, I suppose. Could then leave the room to get even more use out of it, because there is a Red Heart waiting for me in my shop, but I'm okay. I'll just not get hit. It's clearly the better strategy. And also, ultimately, a little bit quicker due to my damage up. Now, I don't know how much... I would like. Oh god. Uh, I don't know how much I would like to um, hurt myself with the razor during the Ultra Breed fight. But probably more than once, I would say. Just to get a little bit of extra damage. This damage is still the one thing this build is kinda lacking. I guess it ultimately depends on what's in my 
Devil Deal slash Angel Room as well, but... Outside of the one where I could have clearly just taken a very good item, it's not been very offensive. Clearly, I, I, could, I could have had a 20% damage up right now, but you know, I've made my choices. Instead, I have this circle, which I keep forgetting I have, and are clearly not using that much. <laughs> it's kind of tricky to use, because you just have to be so close to everything, and I'm just not... It's not really how I play the game, I guess. Book of Revelations is not bad. Miter, I'm not really sure how good it is in this mode. I'll use it once and then leave. Seems acceptable. Get a red heart. Um, I think I'll just leave it at that. Simply because I'm not at 99 coins and I don't think I'm going to be either. So let's just move on. I just realized I haven't visited my curse room yet, I think. Yeah. With two sacks and a whole bunch of things. Chaos card. Alright. Uh, okay. Well, you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, on the one hand, you have to understand that I just don't really care for the Ultra Greed fight that much. I probably could have gotten a little bit more money if I did this in there, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, especially with the Petrified Poop Trinket as well. Yeah, a little bit of regret for sure. You don't want to see that afterwards. <laughs> ah, well. It does mean that the Ultra Greed fight is hopefully going to go a little bit quicker. And that is ultimately the goal of this whole ordeal. So plus, I just haven't had to use... I haven't really had Chaos cards yet in this run, in this save file even, so... Could have just bought the starter deck. <laughs> uh, could have just bought the starter deck right there. Whoops. Well, what are you going to do? Let's just move on and pretend that never happened. <laughs> uh, then I would have just been able to carry both. It would have made life so much easier. But you know what? Mistakes were made. Didn't think that one through, unfortunately. Um, let's just open this for free. Get three bombs. Not bad. Mm, let's just get this syringe as well. I was kind of hoping for another syringe, but... Fair enough. I could just take a bunch of damage here and then buy the the heart as well, but yeah. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I said it in like a yeah, I'm not gonna do that thing, and then and then I just did it anyway, because it's not a terrible idea. Probably going to get fifteen coins during this that I Well, I'm probably gonna get more than fifty coins really, realistically speaking. So all in all, acceptable decision making. Just need to remember not to accidentally leave this room before fighting everything, but so far we've managed. But I will say that this build with a lot of damage is just quite nice. Not even really sure why I'd want the heart thinking about it, because I, I can just chaos card the boss, but I guess I could miss. There is there is still that potential, but it is really just pressing forward and, and attack. So it's unlikely I'm going to miss, but technically not impossible. So, yeah, you know, better safe than sorry. There's no real reason to play this unsafe at this point anyway, so. Let's just do this, yep. Hitting both of them with my great light. It's probably do doing some amount of damage, so all in all pretty great. Not really sure why I haven't spent two more hits on this to just get Horror Babylon, but that probably, again, was a pretty good reason. And while I'm slightly curious how much damage this is going to do against Ultra Greed, I, uh, I don't care that much. I just don't care that much. 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and... Oh, there's not actually 15 coins there, is there? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10, it's only 12 coins. That's clearly not enough. I guess we're not healing. <laughs> is that right? I don't know if that's true. I don't know why I just shot the mask for a minute before even realizing what I was doing there. <laughs> you know, it, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve coins. And a sun card. You know what? Acceptable 
alternative. <laughs> for the sake of a safety net. Do I want to get anything for 12 coins? Could get a key. That'll be fun. It'll be something else for sure, so... You know, all in all pretty reasonable. Let's go fight one more boss. And then deal with the big one. Really want to make as much use of this light bulb I have as possible, but simultaneously it's just not worth losing the money here either, so... You can only do so much. Although he did drop a lot of cash there. Alright, Ultra Greed! Yep, <laughs> that seems about right. He took a sidestep to the right that I didn't anticipate, so we're just fighting this fight normally instead. Let's just do a couple of those. But yeah, if that hit, I would have won. <laughs> would have been pretty good. We'll take this five coin before he picks it up, because he will. But uh, yeah, that's what Chaos card is. You throw it, you miss, and then you're a little bit sad about the end result. <laughs> Ooh, shrunken key coins is actually pretty good. So you can just step on them and they're gone. Admittedly, any enemy coming out of a door here isn't really going to do anything because uh, Jacob's Ladder is more or less going to destroy all of them instantly, but you know, it's still kind of nice to not have enemies to deal with. But yeah, it's <laughs> I, I, I propose we just don't mention the chaos. I mean, it's two greed mode videos in a row. No one's going to watch this one, surely and see my hilarious <laughs> hilarious miss. So, we're probably gonna be okay. Let's just get rid of that. I guess you could probably just stamp on the bomb coins as well once you've shrunken them, but I don't know how safe that is. I'm just gonna just stay over here. My range is actually pretty incredible. My range is better than Ultra Greed's range. I think also a coin just got blocked by the meat cube. Yeah, I'm curious how well this build works against the enemies that come from the doors, so I'm just going to let that happen. Yeah, about as expected. <laughs> they more or less insta-die the moment they leave, so... Not really too worried about that. Still happy about that sun card now, though, because that does make this, feel, this fight a little bit less tense. Admittedly, I could have just bought the heart and accepted that I had three coins less, but, you know... When, when your only goal is to put money into the machine, you really just want to... You really just want to put money in the machine, you know? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wait here for a long period of time for Ultra Greed to die and then put 99 coins in because we're that lucky. That's not a jinx. <laughs> It'll probably all be okay. No worries. I do wonder who I'm going to play as second, though. Because I don't... I don't love Magdalene, you know? It's just not that fun to play. I don't want to do Blue Baby because that's just a mess. That's 50% off in the corner right there, so that's nice, I guess. Uh, but I don't really know who else we have left. We've done Lilith, we've done Apollyon. done Samson, Isaac, Azazel. There's just so many good characters already gone. <laughs> Which, again, if I had a tainted character, I could have just used that one instead, but... Simultaneously, getting an unlock at the end of green mode is kind of nice, and all the tainted characters don't get any unlocks at the end of it, so... It is kind of nice to do it like this, at least. Even if the unlocks just aren't that incredible. Black Feather is in the basement. Technically a trinket, I think, so pretty great. Let's see how lucky we are with the greed machine today. Can we at least get to 900? Lost now holds the holy mantle. That's really the only important thing. That was terrible luck. <laughs> wow. All right. That's horrendous. Fair enough. Very good. So we're just not quite going to be done with greed mode after this. Um, but I did get the important thing done. So... Who hasn't done greed mode yet? There's Blue Baby. There's Lazarus. There's Eden. That's tempting, actually. Bethany as well, which is not too bad. I'm gonna do an Eden run as greed. It's just, why not? That seems fun enough. We are the slowest little Eden right there. We got cool hair, we got the nod leaf from the get-go, which definitely this is the run where I would like that. 
I appear to have some kind of weird shield around me. Which is interesting, because I don't have the Holy Mantle. But I do have the Holy Mantle for exactly one use. Oh, because of my trinket! Right, okay, that makes sense. Um... Yeah, let's just let's make some terrible choices. Let's just uh, get both of these. What a horrible night to have a curse. I actually forgot that I'd have to leave the curse room as well, so... Yeah, all in all, pretty good choices so far. Uh, there is a soul heart over here, though, and I think there's a black heart in my item room as well, so it would have worked out regardless, but... <laughs> that would have been a pretty silly way to instantly die in a greed mod run. Sillier than what I historically do. Uh, let's just take that as well. Forever Alone is not bad. We got Shoot the Whoop, which is more or less going to resolve any issues I have with dangerous ways at the start. Because we can just kill so much in one attack. Admittedly, the regular basement doesn't have the spookiest of waves, of course, but... I mean, again, I can find a way to take damage. Do not, do not worry. But ultimately, this is going to mean that we're not quite going to be done with greed mode uh, donation machines at the end of this. However, since we've gotten the main important thing, which is the Lost now holds the Holy Mantle, I think I will still just stick to doing greedier mode from this point on uh, to get the unlocks for that and then just put whatever amount of coins I can put in the donation machine every time because at this point we are just pretty close to the end of that. And truth be told, God, that's so strong. Uh, I don't mind not getting the last unlock for a little bit. It's a tricky character that you get for it. And not as tricky anymore as it used to be, but it's still not the easiest character in the in the world for sure. I need to hit with those little horn tears as well, actually, because they're probably going to deal a lot more damage than that fly can. Uh, provided that the boss isn't just zooming around at the time, of course, but we're going to make it work. Let's just do... Oh, why did I even do this? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need to. <laughs> I just realized I could probably just not hurt. And I actually don't know. I'm guessing if you don't hurt little Plum here, it, it's not going to leave simply because it's not in the boss room. But I'm not 100% sure about that. But it's an assumption. But yeah, I guess I already went to my devil deal, huh? Yeah, that, that is a likely event that already occurred. So with this, let's leave the darkness behind. We are once again going to get... A holy mantle effect from the trinket, which this time around I will just leave until the end of the floor to see if we can get half of a free curse from that way, because why not? And let's buy a key as well. Hmm, let's buy this just because it's on sale. Uh, can't really do anything with that, unfortunately, but fair enough. Loki's horns, not great, but if we get brimstone, then that is. And... Mm, I'm simply buying it because it was on sale. <laughs> That's a lot of active items in one thing. That's actually really unfortunate, but I guess it is a shop pool uh, item that's on sale and it might just be give keep giving me items from the shop pool ultimately. At least now we can fully like overcharge or shoot the whoop. So we can use it multiple times if we get a particularly difficult wave. We can also just get hit by a random tier. And uh, not get Holy Mantle anymore. But also we can do this and just have Shoot the Woo for three waves in a row that way. So all in all, pretty great. I do enjoy a battery from time to time. And I can appreciate the events that have occurred today. But overall not too difficult. I am enjoying... The Horror Babylon effects two builds in a row, only this time I'm actually using it because my health is just not so great. But if I can just get some soul hearts on sale or something, that would be pretty nice. It would solve a lot of issues. That also solves a lot of issues though. <laughs> and I think I will keep this second use of this for the next wave there careful with the slides but overall we do have a safety mushroom here in the corner which is going to keep me nice and secure and also kill most of the enemies that he's going to spawn so I'm not too worried I say slowly and hope that he dies at the end of that sentence 
because this is <laughs> he's a shifty one he is I don't like it could have probably just used shoot the whoop there uh, at least once since it is now fully charged but and I could use it twice on this way because of it but having it here twice is not too bad either this isn't the most terrible wave it's just going to take a while unfortunately also I should if the secret room is not next to the exit I'm tempted to at least check out the uh, curse room I suppose but not like very tempted because my health doesn't really allow for such shenanigans. Uh, okay, well that's going to give me a black heart. Which is definitely worthwhile. I guess I won't go into my curse room. Uh, because I would die. And let's see if we have anything cool in our secret room. I don't think there's really anything from the shop that I would love. So I don't think I'm going to bother with that. That's... It was worth the money. <laughs> the Spelunker hat once again saves the day in terms of keeping me alive. So I'm not too bothered. Not too bothered at all. Let's take this pill. Surely it's not going to be a bad trip again. I did wait until I was invulnerable and I do not know if it really makes a difference. Uh, blood clot once again. Tempting simply because of the unlock. And that's genuinely the only reason I don't care much for the blood clot in any other capacity, but, you know. That is Fruity Plum. Didn't actually buy a key. I had the intention, though, and that, that should count for something. And yeah, Lemon Mishap, which... Not terrible by any means, but... This, this Brimstone is just pretty great, you know? It does make life significantly easier. There went my Holy Mantle again. Now I'm a little concerned. There's a bunch of enemies now. But at least I have a big laser to destroy things. But those enemies, I probably should just laser when I see them. Because they are a little bit tricky if they just never stop firing. Like that. Exactly like that. These enemies are going to deal one full heart of damage, I believe. Regardless of whether or not the champion is the one that hits me. So I do need to play this a little bit safe. You open up, please. Uh, but the champion is also one I should not underestimate, simply because his friends are also equally powerful. Albeit with a little bit less health, I suppose. Loki's horns with the little horn tears are actually pretty good, though. But it's rare that you can really hit it, <laughs> I suppose. But if we can get Brimstone or something, that would be nice. That would be nice. Let's just get the first part of this fight out of the way. Feeling snipey today, these green shots, but... We managed to make it through. Plus, uh, Big Horn helping out a lot with the last part of the fight there, and an angel in the depths. What a wonderful sight to behold, but again, we have big hands coming from the floor occasionally. And that is more than enough to deal with this. Also, my speed's not bad, which is because it's fully maxed out, but it is, that is just very useful. And two Super Lust, which... Yeah, one shoop the whoop managed to kill one and hurt the other, so all in all, pretty good. My shadow and tarot cloth, which I genuinely didn't know was a devil deal item, but fair enough. A uh, bunch of nothing here. I will just reroll once and uh, be disappointed by the outcome. There was one black heart in there, technically. And there is still the secret room. And this gives me bombs. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. I'm actually more or less taking this for the bombs so I can enter more secret rooms. Because it is a decent way to at least get a couple of them usually, provided that you don't just get troll bombs or something like that, which is possible, but it worked out for the better, I suppose. Boop. Skip it at the perfect time so Isaac never gets hurt in his dreams. Tier 8, always good. What is in my shop today? Ace of Diamonds? Ace of Diamonds? Mmm... Okay, that is going to change Ultra Greed a little bit, because now I want him to spawn enemies. There's the Ouija board again. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, there's the Eraser, which doesn't really affect me. And we have a secret room on our floor. But yeah, Ace of Diamonds is going to turn enemies into coins. 
So on the one hand, I would like to keep it. I should have that probably, huh? Yeah, probably. On the one hand, I kind of want to keep this for the greed fight, but simultaneously, I don't really want him to just pick up all the coins. I don't really have a way to get around that right now, so... Let's just go with the horrendous plan B, which is to spawn a couple enemies here. And then to just use it. And then uh, move on. Hopefully we're just gonna keep getting waves like this, where I can just walk in circles. But I have to say, I haven't tried this before. And it feels a little precarious, I just use it. And I didn't expect that enemy to just suddenly be in my face there, unfortunately. Because I kind of figured the Ace of Diamonds would have turned him also into previously mentioned money. But didn't didn't do that, unfortunately. Uh, this is kind of an awkward wave. This is actually one where I wouldn't have minded the Ace of Diamonds. <laughs> don't like these enemies, let's just destroy them with that. I uh, don't love this wave either. Yep. At least the black heart cleared whatever was possibly still there, so that's nice. And my health is getting a little bit on the low side. Let's see. We don't have a reroll machine. All right. Good. Let's buy this then. Judgment might end up being useful, I suppose. But I'm going to have to play this a little bit less fun, unfortunately. Don't love that we got the enemy that hides underground. But we do have use of our spectral tears, actually, with our Ouija board is actually helping out by having this protective rock save us during this otherwise somewhat tricky fight. And there we go, that's boss number one. Boss number two, the Carrion Queen. Not too big of a worry with Shoop the Whoop because it gets rid of most of her health on the first hit. And hopefully we can go into the second phase reasonably quickly. There's some red poops in the room, but overall nothing that we cannot handle. And then finally, we deal with Mr. Fred twice. Good. A solid wave. I look forward to having to wait for a while again. Truly I am. The red poop is actually dealing with the enemies. That enemy perfectly managed to shoot me into the attack of Mr. Fred there as well, so that's nice. And all in all, they're working together rather well. Not what I'm used to seeing from Mr. Fred and his cohorts, but yeah, fair enough. Probably am- Oh, God. Let's just do that. Hopefully we can get rid of one of them reasonably quickly, but... By far the most difficulty Mr. Fred has ever given me, I'd say. <laughs> They're actually pretty actively spawning enemies. And this one is just continuously doing that attack where I can't stand next to him. So, not great, but we got rid of one of them. And that will ultimately mean that the second one will die by me more or less existing. So that is kind of nice in this room. Since he is in the far bottom, he's not going to be able to reach me with any of his attacks. And I can just stand over here because my range is real good. Very nice indeed. Another devil deal. Probably should have considered health, but I couldn't really find any. And why would you need health when you can simply get ceremonial robes, which give you your health back instead? What a great run this is indeed. <laughs> it's a bit messy, but it's getting, it's, it's moving on. Keep getting just the devil deals that give me my health back and that I'll just have to do. That is going to remove Horror Babylon which is a pretty significant portion of my damage. Uh, tempted by some of that. Virus is not too terrible. Let's see what's in my double deal. And my double deal, I mean secret room. Not terrible again. Not sure how amazing this actually ends up being, but we'll see, I suppose. And let's just risk it. High Priestess. Also forgot to actually blow up the judgment there, which is unfortunate, but fair enough. That's a lot of money I got from that one chest. <laughs> okay. Take that for the range, I guess. Take that for the damage. And also, I'm going to take this. And then... Oh, that doesn't even give me that much. It really only gives me damage at this point, but fair enough. And just gonna give him two hearts there, maybe a third for fun. And let's hope 
death is not approaching. I wouldn't mind to actually get a couple soul hearts from this. There we go. That makes life a little bit safer. Since I no longer need to specifically be going for uh, the whatchamacallits, the coins in my donation machine, I suppose. Uh, ultimately, I can also just sort of do whatever I want, but I would like to put as many coins as possible in during this run, of course. Whoops. Simply because it limits the amount of greed mode runs before I am genuinely done and I can truly spend all of my money every single time because I do enjoy that a lot. Don't love these enemies, though. I'd like them to stay away from me. I kind of didn't even realize they would be in greed mode, but I guess it makes sense. Probably have even seen them as well, but... Just didn't really register it as an event. Don't really love how the hand keeps moving my uh, coins around either, but... Oh, we'll just have to learn to live with that one, unfortunately. But, I, I don't know, I'm kind of tempted to just buy a lot of health, because this build is... It's nothing like my usual builds, you know? I mean, I have to, like, aim. <laughs> That's it. That's the whole story. I have to aim. And uh, maybe even occasionally try and dodge a thing, so... Yeah. It's very weird to play this game like this. I guess this is what humans must feel like when they play this game, usually, but... That's the way it is. Let's just get rid of that. I, I do feel that Shoop the Whoop has been doing a pretty good job, though. If we could get 4.5 Volt, I actually wouldn't mind that for the Ultra Greed fight, either. Because that will more or less just recharge itself the entire time. The fires are dealing plenty with these remaining enemies. And there is Krampus, even though we already fought him on this same floor. But we did end up getting... A soul heart from a random flame. So I guess I can appreciate that. We get a second lump of coal. <laughs> of course we do. I don't know if those things stack, but I have to assume they don't. Let's just go with that. Unbelievable. <laughs> that's, uh, that's an unusual one to get two of those, I suppose. But as you can see, technically not impossible. So here we are. Oh, bird's eye is tempting, though. It is going to speed up everything a lot. I'm just going to do it. I don't care. I say it's going to speed things up a lot. My luck is minus 0 0.42, but, you know. Ooh. Double item room on the next floor. How definitely going to happen? How definitely going to happen, indeed? Eh, occasionally I do shoot some decent flames, at least, so... Fair enough. I guess it's acceptable. Oh yeah, I guess this item's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's doing all right. I I would have actually expected less flames with the luck I have, but I guess even with zero luck, you get a decent amount of flames, and it's not that far away from that. However, wouldn't have minded more luck for this. Just a little bit would have been okay. We do have the virus, so we can at least just run into enemies and destroy them that way. So that's good for uh, how I've been playing. And we are actually getting pretty close to being done with another great session of Greed Mode. And I, for one, can't wait. We destroyed the random rock that was still there, so that's good as well. Good to clean up after yourself after doing a Greed Mode run, after all. So I'm pretty happy about that. I could have dealt with that spider at some point, but if the ragman's dead, the spider's just not going to do that much. Ooh, my amount of coins is not going to be great, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be pretty low, but you know what? That's okay. They can't all be winners. <laughs> Focus on the heart. Hopefully, Bloat is going to do... Ooh, you can destroy the eyes with... Ah. I never thought of that before. I guess that makes sense, because the hands more or less destroy everything. But I never thought to use them against Bloat's eyes. Fair enough. Let's just get rid of all of that. Once again, shoot the whoop, saving the day. Causes me to spend slightly less time in here. And three of these. Instantly using up my shoot the whoop and will not be able to use it. I'll be able to use it once, I guess, during the Ultra Greed fight, which could hopefully be good. Come on. Just a little bit more. Fight as he gets out. Very good. Uh, that's very tempting, isn't it? Mm, yep, 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 yep. 
And that is pretty damn good. Let's see if I can get some more health. <laughs> oh, Omega. That's not health. That's technically health. But I don't like that kind of health. I wanted soul hearts, actually. I've wasted so much money in this run. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, 10 coins is pretty good to put into your donation machine at the end of a greed mode run. <laughs> uh, and I didn't even destroy the shopkeeper even though I had flames. I just skipped the... Uh, everything's falling apart. Everything's falling apart right now. <laughs> I just skipped the middle finger thing. I could just edit it in, I suppose, but... Everyone will know at this point. I've talked about it too much. Everyone will see my shame. But I do hope... There we go. Well, we got a couple coins from that, at least. Ultra greed to go. With a build that's very adequate. It, at this point, it's ve very much more than powerful enough. That I don't really need to worry about anything, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... I thought I heard something fall that sounded like a lot of money, but it wasn't. It was probably just some weird coin sound effect that probably plays here from time to time. Not sure why I picked up this trinket, but simultaneously it can give me a little bit more money if I take damage. So that's tempting, sort of. It does imply that I am going to take damage during this fight, but I mean, I'd say that's fairly likely. And that I would like to get uh, compensated for that pain that I have suffered. Yeah, especially with stuff like this going on. Uh, should I, like, I'm even paying attention at this point. It's weird. With a run like this, that, that is where it is right now with the amount of coins that it has, suddenly I'm actually looking at the tears and the coins that he's shooting rather than just willy nilly it and hoping that I don't get hit. Like, I'm actually tr actively trying to dodge. And it's weird to come to that realization. I suppose usually when you're playing the game, there is at least part of you that's assuming that usually you're dodging, but I've never had that moment where I'm actually looking at tears and going, all right, actively thinking about going in this direction. <laughs> this game has become such an uh, autopilot for me. <laughs> I'm actually gonna spawn that beggar. Oh no, that's not what you want. I figured I'm just gonna spawn a beggar over here and then he'll drop some money and then it was the one beggar that's immune to bombs. <laughs> uh, of course it is. Of course that's how it goes. Oh, it's uh, it's certainly a run. <laughs> At least the troll bombs are dealing some extra damage to <laughs> Ultra Greed right now. So it's, it's working out. It's all going okay, actually. Plus, I probably ended up making loads of money with this trinket as well. So, ultimately, I'd say that this run can once again be called a success. And I think the money sound that I was listening to was maybe just coins landing. That just makes a little bit more of a coin sound these days, maybe? Or maybe I just never noticed it before. Also, that dodge was sick. Did you just see that? It just went almost through me. It was amazing. If I played like this every run, I could just play as every character. <laughs> Maybe one day. Maybe one day this will be the autopilot. But for now, I shall actively be thinking about playing the game instead. What do we get for this? Game baking bug. Very good. 26 coins for the donation machine. Only 89 coins left to go before we're done with this, but we can definitely finish this up in greedier mode. Which is exactly what we're going to do. We are done with greed mode, I would say. And next time we play, we're not going to play greed mode. <laughs> we're uh, probably just going to do a regular run instead. But I hope you've enjoyed it so far. And next time we play, I hope to uh, win. And I hope to see you there. Bye-bye. <laughs>